Renters have received some help during the pandemic. Some have not had to pay rent in months, and landlords can't kick them out. In fact, tomorrow, Governor Newsom will extend the state's eviction moratorium another five months. But some of the landlords say they are struggling, too. Our consumer investigator, Randy Mack, says help is coming. Small landlords say they simply can't afford to house people for free, but there hasn't been any help for them until now. Tammy Mason owns a home in South L.A., and she rents it out below market value. Keeping rents affordable and being able to retain a long-term tenant is important. It has great benefits. It caused serious illness. But last March, when the pandemic hit, Tammy's tenants stopped paying rent, and by law, she couldn't ask any questions. There's no further language, no further explanation. Obviously, we're not allowed to ask. There are no firm numbers for how much rent has gone unpaid during the pandemic, but some estimate it's as much as five and a half billion dollars in California alone. And while unemployed individuals, small businesses, and corporations have all received government help, small landlords have gotten nothing. They're requiring us to assist with this housing crisis and carry the financial burden by allowing individuals to live in your properties for free without consequence. And you're giving them a loan with no interest, no penalties, and it's most likely not going to be paid back. But after 10 months, help is on the way for many landlords. The federal government just forked over $2.6 billion to California, earmarked to help landlords. The goal is to pay those who qualify up to 80% of unpaid back rent. We're certainly going to hold, you know, the state agency's feet to the fire to make sure that we get as much money in the hands of landlords as we can. But the money comes too late for some. Tammy's tenant hasn't paid rent in 11 months. She can no longer afford the home and has no choice but to sell it. We're making a very difficult choice um, right now. Landlords, along with their tenants, do need to apply for the money. And to find the information on how to do that, you can go to our website at NBCLA.com. In Chino Hills, I'm Randy Mack for NBC4 News.